We don't, we don't know all the details. What we know for sure is that Judas surrendered himself to selfishness. He surrendered himself to selfishness. Now, we all deal with that temptation because it's a natural part of the human condition to think of me first, think of my family first. You know, a friend of mine was telling me a, a story um, just a couple of days ago uh, about going to Target to pick up a few items first thing in the morning, said it was early in the morning, and they're standing in line, you know, managed to get one thing, a toilet paper after being out of toilet paper for 10 days in her house. And and uh, she's standing there, but the, the paper towels, they, they had an employee that was standing there at the checkout line. And when it was your turn to, to get up to the belt at the checkout line, um, the employee would give you one pack of paper towels, you know, like four rolls or whatever. Um, and she said, as she's standing there, the, the, the employee had one pack of paper towels left. And, and this lady cut in front of her and grabbed that pack of paper towels out of the employee's hand. And she said it, for, it took a minute, you know, it, was, it didn't register with her what was taking place. You know, she didn't realize, wait, that's my, that's my pack of paper towels. Get that back. She didn't realize that. But the lady in front of her saw it. She'd already paid for her paper towel, so she tore her package open and gave my friend one roll of paper towels. What a contrast. See, that's Judas jumping in front, grabbing, I'm going to get mine. And the other's Jesus. No, let, let me share what I have. Even if we don't have very much with which to share. Right, right now in this coronavirus pandemic, some of us are surrendering to fear and selfishness rather than trusting Jesus and responding in faith. You know, in Christ, we're taught that we need to crucify those self serving impulses. We need to put them to death. We need to choose service over selfishness.